Hi everyone, it's Jeannie again, and I have a quick haul for you. It's mostly Halloween and fall items from, oh, what do I got today? I think Dollar Tree and Michaels. So I thought I would show you that. I'll end with the paper pads and um, start with the um, the other things that I found. And um, I apologize if you can hear some buzzing. They're putting in hardwood floors, I think, across the street, and it's really echoing a lot in my room. So anyway, I'll start with the Dollar Tree, and some of this stuff isn't Halloween. I just have never seen it before at my Dollar Tree, so I picked it up. I got uh, this. These little are little paper flowers. I found these little flare. They're like fabric flare. And then I found these um, kind of googly monster eyes and colors, and I thought those were kind of cool. Didn't have anything like that. I found this really big skeleton hand, and I have an idea for something with this. Then I found these. I thought these might be nice titles if I decide to do an October Daily. And then I also got these little uh, foam jack-o'-lanterns. And these, I liked the ghosts and the tombstones. I didn't get the, they had some that were all cats and some that were all witch hats and I just didn't think I'd use all of those. So I got those. And then these are not, um, these are not Halloween, but I thought they were cute. They're layered craft stickers. And this one is travel themed. That one's a birthday themed. And thank you. I thought those would be nice for quick cards. And then um, I also got a little package of these um, little ge sticker gemstone flowers. They had other colors, but the, the colored ones looked really cheap to me. I thought the the um, these ones looked the, mo the best, so I got those. And then, I know this isn't new, but I found these um, tape stickers. Um, I've seen people show these in the past. My Dollar Trees have never had them before, so anyway, so I got that one, and I got this one. They had another one, but I didn't think I'd use it, so um, anyway, so I got those. And then I went into Michael's for one thing. I'll show you the one thing I went in for. This. Um, I have a new, our Michaels changed locations, I think I said that when I, because I had a haul from the, when they were clearancing out the old location, and um, when I went in the first time, they didn't have their $1.50 bins set up, so they didn't have any of this stuff out, and so I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to get this, this little girl, I've been wanting her since I've seen other people show, and um, I was in luck today because she was the last one, so I got the little dancing skeleton. And then while I was at it, I got the witch's shoe and I thought that little jack liner was really cute. So I got that too. And then they had their stickers are were all on sale and um, I went ahead and got this. Um, these are the Halloween words and they're black with gold and I thought they were cute. There's all kinds of great words on there. And these were 50% oh, off, I think. 50% off of like $2.99, so they were cute. So I got those. And then I got um, this Creatology. This was also 40% off, this jumbo glitter. And this is in the kids' craft aisle, but I liked the combination of that, maybe for shakers. And they're little tiny hexagons that are green, orange, and purple. So there's a ton of it in there. It's a cute bottle, too. So I got that. And then, you guys, I did take advantage of some of the Hot Buy paper. That's 70% off this week. I should have gone yesterday and gotten an extra 20% off, but I didn't. I just didn't feel like it. But um, mostly I got uh, fall. Thing. I'm just in the mood for fall. So I went ahead and got the fall embossed paper. So it's got leaves, acorns, dots, um, kind of like squares, stripes, words, fall words, and then um, are the different ones. And then those patterns, which are embossed, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that on the camera, come in all different colors. And this, um, 
is a really cool kind of a purpley gray blue and it matches uh, the next stack that I'm gonna show you so hopefully oh sorry hopefully you can kind of get an eye on that but I like I like these embossed um, cardstock pads I, I like to use these a lot for like mounting my pages with a border so I got that one and then I also got the pumpkin spice one and this one is so pretty you guys in person I didn't wasn't that impressed when I saw people show it online but I really like it in person um, and it's more the the metallic on it is a more of a rose gold so and it's got this really interesting almost periwinkle gray blue in it and and the the papers from the other pad do match this but it just has a really interesting color combination, so I'll give you a look here. Um, this is a wood grain with a polka dot. This is a um, cream and kind of a teal stripe, so there is teal in this one. Here is some cut aparts and words, then you can see some of them are have that rose gold. Um, this is a floral that has some rose gold and all the different colors in it. one. This one, I'm not too sure about this one. I mean, the rose gold is pretty, but I'm not, I'm not loving it with the orange, so I'm not sure about that one, but um, this is a pretty ombre from teal to blue. Uh, words in blue and brown. This is really pretty. There's two of each in this one, and this one's really pretty too. This is cream and rose gold dot. It's just a nice kind of a orangey brown and cream. Pretty plaid. This one's really pretty. It's um, the rose gold and that periwinkle blue. And then isn't that an interesting color combination? I just with the teal and the blue. I think it's really nice. Really different. And then this one. Oops. And some more cut apart. I like the fox. I wish that was in the collection a little bit more. Um, and then just some leaves. And then another ombre with the orange and gold and uh, yellow. Which is nice. This one is the corners are a little bit bent. I didn't notice that. But there's a dot that has or everything but that blue in it. Another nice plaid. Love this one too, with that color combo. And here's the words on that blue with the rose gold writing. And then the, just a scrolly kind of goldy yellow and cream. So that's pumpkin spice. And then the last one I got, I was really in a fall mood, was called Fall in the Park. And I haven't seen a lot of people show this one. But this one has really, really bright colors. And some of the pages have that varnish on them so they're a little bit shiny but um, let me give you a quick look at this one so and this one is interesting you guys because there's three of some and only one of others so there's just one of this and it's got that um, varnish so if you can see that if I move it and then this one there's three of this one and that's like almost like um, embroidered flowers there's some words. There's three of that one. They say adore, love, laugh, bountiful. Um, there is a cute, I mean a lot of these could be for spring or summer. Um, little, a little flower. Um, this one also has the glazing on the leaves. So there's only one of those. And then this could be used for a summer picnic. So, and then there's only one of these. It has some glitter. And there's three of these burrs. Isn't that cute? There's another teeny tiny floral. I like it when you can find 12 by 12s in this teeny tiny pattern. Um, that's unusual. Usually they're not scaled this small, but that's a really, it's got a really pretty kind of teal background. This one is another one with the glazing, so there's only one of those. And there's three of this floral pattern. There's only one of these large cut aparts because they have some of the glazing. Only one of these. Only one of these. And those little animals are so cute. 
and then there's also only one of these and this one also has the glazing I think on the brown and then three of these again to me that looks really springy and summer it's pink and pink and red and orange and then one of these that has the little this is glittered three of these one of these with the glazing three of these just one of these with some glitter three of these one of these and three of this one so it's kind of an unusual pad in that it's how it's broken down but anyway if you need any other information let me know um, but that's a look at the three paper pads that I got on my other little haul oh and I forgot to tell you too um, at Michael's I got some other fine art stuff to is was 40% off today so I went ahead and got some better paint brushes and then one of these little brushes so anyway I hope you all are doing great and I will see you again soon bye